Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Vodacom has taken another step to limit its environmental impact while eliminating about 12 million litres a year of water demand on the Midrand municipality's supplies. Natasha Urdendahl has the story. Telecommunications group Vodacom has unveiled a 4.2 million rainwater harvesting project at its head office in Midrand. The dam harvests 1 million litres of rainwater a month providing 40% each month of the water required for the air conditioning of the Vodacom Commercial Park building. Any excess rainwater would be used to irrigate the gardens on the Vodacom premises. Vodacom Executive Head of Division, Facilities North, Tembani Jwambi, tells us more. Uh, we, we started uh, with uh, the rainwater harvesting by collecting data on the rainfall within this area of Midrand where Vodacom is situated. And this data is a 50-year data uh, that Tepelovox, uh, when they put the design together, so that we can design the dam. The dam that we've um, built today is, uh, can take up a storage of one megalitres. That one megalitres then get pumped into our air cones in Commercial Park to cool the building up as compared to have used that water for, uh, from, from the municipality. So we're changing what we're saying. The first priority is we use our own water from the rainwater harvesting. And when, that, uh, when the dam is uh, empty, we then use the municipal water. It's reducing the reliance on, on the municipal water and also preserving the nature. The demand from our chiller plant is 30 megalitres per annum. If one takes an average of one megalitre per month, it would then equate to 12 megalitres per annum, which is about 40% of our demand. Okay, So that's one thing. And then uh, when we motivated the project, one of the things is also uh, one needs to put the, the, the cost together. Uh, if, you are, if we assume that the municipality would increase their cost of, uh, of, of um, their water costs, it will then uh, mean that the payback period would then be uh, six years. So we worked on a, a six-year payback period, in which in our standards is a fairly long, but it was one of the requirements that when we submit the project, it has to, we, we have to submit how much is it going to cost for that. The cost that we've excluded on that is that we would be reducing the chemicals that we would have used if it was just purely a municipal water, we would use lesser chemicals uh, than we would have used. So that, because the whole system is automated, we will then use that uh, after a, uh, four to six months, we will then work it out how much have we saved ourselves on the municipality water and also on the chemicals itself. Other news making headlines this week, ESCOM outlines its plan to trim unplanned outages to 10% and the SAPREF upgrade is central to BP's 5.5 billion rand investment plan for South Africa and Mozambique. South Africa's state-owned electricity utility ESCOM has approved a new five-year generation strategy premised on an 80-10-10 principle, which implies average plant availability of 80% with unplanned outages limited to 10% and scheduled maintenance also set at 10%. This winter will be different. Uh, this winter we will be doing some long-term outage work uh, and it is outage work that we will not defer. Uh, for us, we are committed in this winter to do some uh, nine units uh, between uh, April and August to make sure that we ensure the long-term sustainability of, of this particular uh, power stations. We've chosen a maintenance strategy for the next five years that will ensure that we ensure sustainability of our generation fleet. Uh, we're going to base that on 80% availability, a 10% planned and a 10% unplanned ratio. Uh, and 8% of that plan must uh, be fixed uh, in terms of that design base work that we would like to use. And then 2% for more short-term outages. 
Global Energy Group BP has announced a 5.5 billion rand five-year investment plan for South Africa and Mozambique, including a 2.5 billion rand capital expenditure program to upgrade the SAPREF refinery in Durban, positioning it to produce fuels to a Euro 5 specification level. BP will be investing in excess of 5 billion rand in South Africa and Mozambique over the next five years commencing in 2013, which will be in new plant and infrastructure upgrades. Nearly 800 million rand will be invested in Mozambique, and the rest, obviously 4.7 billion rand, in South Africa. This investment is designed to improve safety, customer experience, operational efficiency, help the government to improve energy security and enable the transition towards cleaner fuels. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.